Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Blue Sky Sanctuary. That's my property in the Baja in Mexico. It's also my YouTube channel where I've been sharing all sorts of good stuff. And today, 100% thanks to your comments, I am here sharing with you the final chapter of my second build here in Mexico. I'm gonna jump right into some footage to let you see all that's been going on here in the last handful of months and I will catch you on the other side and tell you what I've learned this time around and where I plan to go from here. Okay, so jumping right in, this is the roof all ready to be poured. You can see the metal framework, uh, cubes of insulation and the wiring for the electrical is running through the orange tubes that you see there. The cement truck arrived eight hours late on the day of the pour, but it was actually a blessing because it was August, it was super hot and humid, and it was way easier to work after sunset. It was also better for the roof curing as it dried more slowly, and there was virtually no cracking at all, and that was awesome. We worked late into the night, and there it is the morning after. A few weeks after the roof was done, Hurricane Hillary hit and tore my storage tent to pieces. So all of my furniture had to be moved into the house. It was an inconvenience for sure, but we made it work. And with the roof done, we were able to then start on the ceiling and start finishing both the exterior and interior walls. The exterior went off without a hitch. We struggled a bit with the interior colors because I chose to go with a traditional method where the color is mixed right into the stucco and trying to get a soft lavender purple with that method was pretty challenging, but we persevered and eventually got it done. At the same time, the kitchen and bathroom counters were being built and slowly but surely, everything came together. October 23rd, the day that Hurricane Norma blew through town, the second hurricane of the season, my windows and doors arrived. I wish I had more footage to share with you, but when it's hitting the fan, it's really hard to remember to turn the cameras on. The team did an awesome job though, and we got through it. Something I've always openly recommended on the channel if you're thinking about building in Mexico is to be on site as much as possible. In my experience, it's had a noticeable impact on the productivity and on a more subtle level on team morale. And um, I wasn't as involved in the build this time, but I was absolutely on site every day to answer questions and make decisions or help out a bit. About four weeks of cleanup and this is what things are looking like now, more or less. I love that I've been able to participate in big and small ways here in the creation of my home, and that's something that I'm sure I wouldn't be able to do up north. Super grateful for my foreman and crew. I'd work with them again in a heartbeat, and as it turns out, I just might. So that's always fun to see. That was roughly five or six months of work compressed into three minutes. And what I've learned foremost this time round is that the team that you choose to work with is of paramount importance. So my first build, I participate an awful lot in the build and I had some friends and my ex all helping and contributing to the house getting built. This time I didn't have any of that. It was all the work team and my foreman and sometimes myself I would say I contribute maybe 10% of what I did last time as far as physical labor. Um, as I mentioned in that footage, I was on site every day. That is super important. But if you're not able to do that, of course, your foreman and the communication you have with them is super important. They need to be trustworthy. You need to be able to trust them. And over these two builds, my foreman has become like my family. And I'm really grateful for that relationship. Um, sticking to what else I learned this time round, these custom windows were definitely worth the extra bit of money. So the last time I used Home Depot, whatever they had in stock, and not only was the quality of the window much less, um, it was very limiting in what we could do for windows because of the limited selection in Home Depot. So custom windows, you get exactly the size, exactly how you want it, and the functionality of the custom windows is so much better and that's important down here because you need and want to be able to take out your screens and clean them. And yeah, the functionality of these windows is just incredible. And then you have the color selection and all of that. And it's not like twice the price. It's a bit more for sure, but it's, it's maybe um, like 25 to 50% more cost wise. I certainly blew the budget on this house because I had more money to spend and I will correct that in the future when I do this again. The third thing I learned this time round, 
happened by accident, but it ended up being a blessing and I'll make sure to do it the next time, is to pour the roof as late in the afternoon as possible because it's always really hot here. The sun's really always cooking, even in the winter. So the slower that your roof can dry, the better it is for your roof. So I would be sure next time round to ask for the truck to come at four instead of eight in the morning, to come at four in the afternoon and we'll be all set. The fourth thing I learned that I have been learning over the last year living on this property is that I actually love living off grid. Living in my camper on solar power has been really challenging and I made a video about that, but I am gonna be making another video about how awesome it has been living on solar power in this house. It's a different solar system and I always have plenty of energy to run everything that I need and it's really very satisfying. So with that, the next property that I choose, I can go further out and um, not be limited by trying to be near the grid, which I am in this property here. The grid's very unreliable and solar is wonderfully reliable. The system that I have now, it charges even on the cloudy gray days and I'm gonna get into that in another video. But anyway, that's one of the biggest takeaways that I have from what I've learned this last year. Lastly, hurricane proofing the house. I put this house a lot lower um, than I did my last one. And the next one, I'm gonna put it even lower still. It feels very cozy. And the temperature control is actually one of the foremost reasons I'd like to put the house even further into the ground, maybe two or three feet beneath the ground level. And that'll help keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter and it will just all around be better and for the hurricanes when those high winds are blowing i'll feel safer knowing the winds can blow over the house a little more easily so those are kind of the five big takeaways that i have to share with you on this build if you are thinking about building in mexico and you want direct consulting i offer it just shoot me a message my email is in the description of the video and without your comments as i said before these videos about construction in Mexico will not get made. I'm really wanting to move towards talking about what we need to do inwardly and I have started that on the channel but that's really all that I want to talk about is our inner work, what we can do to get our insides right so that our outer environment reflects what's going on inside of us and if we don't have that personal awareness and we're not conscious of ourselves we could be really spinning our wheels and working really hard to try to make things happen outwardly when really there's just maybe some little tweaks we need to do inwardly in which case everything would flow more easily so leave your comments let me know what you want to see and what you want to know more about and i will honor those and then i'll also be talking about what i'm most inspired to talk about which is basically personal development so thanks again for tuning in i look forward to seeing you again on the next video if you haven't already maybe subscribe and put your notifications on so that you'll know next time i'm here talking about mexico living your best life being your best self and all that good stuff thanks again for being here bye for now